All right, so we've just walked into the venue, and we're fortunate because JJ is actually here. All right, who are you, JJ? Uh, yeah, I'm JJ Adams, uh, proprietor of Smoking Aces. All right, so we're in the venue. Okay. What is Smoking Aces all about, really? I mean, is it the only whiskey bar in the world? It is. Well, to my knowledge, I don't know of another. Um, yeah, we specialise in a lot of whiskeys, whiskey based, American, English, uh, well, Scotch. Um, that's the backbone of what we do. But obviously, we're a cocktail bar and whiskey lounge, so we also specialise in bespoke cocktails, creating cocktails for um, for people with a particular taste. We don't have a menu. Um, we'll create whatever you want us to make. So yeah. you tell us what flavours you like. You tell us what spirits you like. We'll create a, a bespoke cocktail for your experience. You can name it. We'll put it in the uh, cocktail creation book, and away right. you go. So. Excellent. Then we should do that for our next gig. Yeah. A yellow group. A yellow group cocktail. Yeah, we do that for, for events. If we have any events, yeah. we'll name, create and name a cocktail for the event. Um, okay. Put it on our ASIC recommends board and All right. it sells like a dream. So, so when you set the bar up, I mean, did you have a specific idea of what you wanted? Or was it something that kind of grew organically? Um, we had a direction that we wanted to go in, well, that I wanted to go in. Um, you know, I could see a gap in the market. I'm from the industry. Uh, I used to go out after work in the industry and I'd find that late night there would only be clubs to go to. I'm not really a club kind of person. I want to sit down with a beer, with a whiskey, with my friends and have a chat and have a, you know, experience my friends and experience my my experience, not, you know, everything else around me. And you've got some good pubs and you've got some good clubs, but there's not really any decent bars. And I felt that, you know, there was a real, real gap in the market that we could fill if, if it was done properly. Um, so, you know, mixing a few a few points of ethos of, you know, just good, ticking all the boxes, really good music with a good ambience. Um, and obviously live music is a huge part of that um, with decent quality service, decent quality drinks, all mixed together. It just brings you a quality product at a good price that you can't really, you know, you can't really go wrong. So, um, getting that balance is difficult, but once we've, once we've found it, it worked well. And I think it works, man. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned the music and the events, so, mm. so what, what do you put on it? Okay, well we, we run, uh, we work in, uh, well, very closely with Devil's Music, um, which yeah. they are kind of music agents, if you like, so they run everything from the playlists, we have lots of different playlists that run at different times, so we, you know, we play classic, classic rock and roll, you know, the old school rock, um, up to funk, hip hop, soul, Motown, jazz, electro swing, like, you know, a, a, va a very varied spectrum of music. Um, and then what they also do for us is book in our live acts. Um, so, the likes of yourselves, Yellow Groove, you're one of our house favourites, as you know. Yeah, um, And yeah, we run live music events every Friday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays have, uh, yeah, Thursdays are a weekly event um, that change. Each week has its own slot, if that makes okay. sense. Right. Yeah. Um, so first Thursday of the month we have our plug and play night, which is um, it allows people a bit more sophisticated than an open mic night. An open okay. mic night is kind of a bit shambolic. Yeah. Ours is a bit kind of more regimented. You sign up, you put right. your name down, it's a bit organised. Yeah, you don't just yeah, piss off. Yeah, yeah play and piss off. Um, it's kind of it's much more organised than that. Um, so we'll pair people together and the idea is that we rotate and it kind of the music never stops is, is the idea. And it works really well. We've had some really big musicians come down for it, which is really good. The likes of Scott McKeon. Scott McKeon came here and actually blew everyone's heads off with his crazy guitar skills. Awesome. Um, which was cool. Um, then the second Thursday we have our Focal Night, which celebrates uh, female vocals and female bands, female artists, uh, female, female musicians. And that's hosted by Vida. Um, and they've got a huge following and the stuff that they're doing is awesome. Um, they're doing some really, really, really good things um, and just pushing forward the female music scene, which is, is the music scene in Bournemouth is scarce enough and the female music scene is, you know, it's really difficult. So yeah, especially things like rock and things. You never exactly, see, yeah. yeah. So we're really happy to be pushing that. Um, third Thursday is a rock DJ night where we get in. We've got um, Ian McPherson from In Me coming down soon. Yeah. Um, and that's we bring all down all the kind of all the bands that play in you know play but play in bands bring them down do a DJ set and they bring all their friends and play all the music they want to hear um, and that goes down really well and then on the, on the fourth Thursday is our hip hop 
um, yeah, yeah. scratch hip hop and live percussion like so it's all yeah. completely different completely varied yeah, yeah, but it fits yeah. perfectly yeah, within yeah. the yeah I've noticed that there's variation but it all kind of seems to fit yeah, in it, it, it's yeah. not just the music really but you know we had a look around earlier some of the artwork is, is, is amazing man. yeah I spent a lot of time it's all about bespoke niche things um, that fit well so there's a story to everything in Aces you pick, pick anything up there's always a story be- behind something that you know someone that I know someone I've come across something that I like somewhere that I've been like it's it's a reflection of me personally really and, and all my likes and my tastes that I've brought out into, into the bar because um, effectively you know not everybody uh, I work very hard to be in the position I'm in now but I'm very lucky to be able to you know, normally when you go into a bar and you're like, oh, I wish, I wish they did this, or I wish they did that. Right. Yeah. Um, I have the luxury of that situation to go. Well, you know what? I am going to do this. I am going to do that. So that and that, my customers appreciate that because they feed things back to me. So and they I'll, do say to you, you know, mm, yeah, say, oh, Jay, you know, why don't we do this? Or you know, okay. it'd be good if you did that. Or yeah. I like the, just little things like having the little coat hanging hooks underneath the bar and yeah, okay. stuff like that. It's just like you know, you can have an input here almost as if it's your bar. If you wanted it to be, you can say you have an involvement which people like. They're like the feedback um, so that goes down well but yeah um, and in terms of Fridays we have a variety of live acts that play full band set ups we've had up to an 11 piece uh, on that tiny little yeah. stage yeah um, the they stage all on the stage. Bit, it's great yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a good atmosphere in here yeah exactly and the, you know the way that the band can see over the whole bar, the whole bar is just going crazy. Uh, people from outside can see in the window, see the band in the window. Everything steams up, you know. Yeah. It gets a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know how hot it gets. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so the live, the live Friday live live music nights go really well. Um, yeah, I've always found that um, you know played a lot of times. Um, and it does for, not only for people in here but for bands it offers something that is yeah. a bit different to other venues definitely that yeah. that's the whole point of what we tried to create and working with Devil's Music we knew that we couldn't we're not a live music venue per se you know we're not an arena we're not an academy we're not you know you're not going to come down here and play to a thousand people but what you can do is you can interact with the customers here and, and your audience here in a different kind of way um, and it allows us to shape the bands and kind of turn the bands and often convince them to do a set or whatever that is completely yeah, different to right, yeah, what they would normally do. Yeah, so they'll they'll do I mean what we're all about we're all about original stuff and getting people to do an original something that they haven't done before really and, and maybe even be a little bit out of their comfort zone um, so we're trying to do like kind of broken down sets and things like that um, and uh, yeah it's worked really well so far and they have you know, the nights have got bigger and bigger and bigger um, and we've got bigger things in store but yeah uh, we've had a variety of acts and we're very lucky to work with the Dorset Music Awards as well um, we get a lot of the we had the finalists play just recently um, so you know all the, all the best acts from Dorset uh, and from the Dorset Music Awards come through to us and, and play here and you know it's it's really good for us to be involved with those kind of things and, and see the number of bands that are going through and there's some really good music that comes through Bournemouth um, and we're really proud to be behind it and support it and it's, all, I think, it's always busy on a Friday and Saturday yeah and I think if you look it, it speaks for itself you look at you look at town generally you look at the bars you look at the nightclubs and generally on a Friday it's like a ghost town and in, in Smoke and Aces, we are absolutely packed we hit capacity often at 9 o'clock yeah yeah um, We'll have a queue down the road. It's just purely because people are desperate to come in here and see what, what's what's going on, um, and that's you know I have to thank the bands for that because obviously they're bringing they're bringing their it's a, it's a kind of a symbiosis you know I, I scratch my back you scratch you know I scratch yours you scratch mine um, we we put on the event we've got the event and, and the the atmosphere and the location and all the kind of things from our side and they bring a lot of the good people oh, yeah. and together we have a great party so well, that's what I think I mean all venues in Bournemouth offer something different mm. but obviously Smoke Ace is not just a venue it's a bar as well yeah. and I think that person speaking if you when you play down here it does work in some biosis because yeah. uh, especially for small bands that are struggling or sort of, you know starting out mm. they you actually do have people already in here. So yeah. If you add your, you know, fan exactly. base yeah, yeah. to the people already in here, you're playing to your friends, but also to a whole bunch of whole people. Bunch of people. Definitely those get people, that here. the people who are in here, have an interest in music. That, that's the it's same a music-oriented thing. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, 
it's not just people aren't just showing up playing the stuff and going home you know, yeah. the customers are like who were they you know where were they how can I find yeah. you know how can I get hold of those people where can I hear, hear their music um, our Facebook page it's got it's got thousands of followers we've had thousands of check-ins um, we've got a real good following on there and you know so what is that page that's um Facebook.com forward slash uh, Smoking Aces Bournemouth, I believe. Okay. That's without uh, a G, isn't it? Yeah, Smoking without a G, yeah. yeah. Uh, our Google Analytics are pretty good. You put in wherever you want, you'll find it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you you know if people want to get involved in that, they a lot of people put forward their bands to us through a variety of mediums. Yeah. And, yeah, we have the luxury of kind of, of, of picking the really good ones and showing them off to people and people that nobody's ever heard of and giving people a chance, you know. Um, and you get some fantastic, fantastic acts from that. So, I mean, we talk about music here, we talk about the stuff that you oh, yeah. like and you put on. And we've also mentioned Devil's Music. Obviously, you work with. So if, if there's a touring band coming through or Bournemouth band you want to play, who do they get in contact with? Um, well, ideally, you'd speak to Trevor, Trevor Hill, um, okay. or yeah. Richard. He's the guy from um, Devil's yeah, Music. Yeah. Devil's Music. They're, 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 they're the Devil's Music uh, duo, one. and um, yeah, basically those guys are switched oh, yeah. on. They know yeah, they're anyone. Big in the scene. Anyone who needs to be known, they know, and anyone they don't know isn't worth knowing. As far as I'm concerned, um, we've got a really good relationship with uh, a lot of bands, a lot of DJs, a lot of artists. You know, independents. Why not? Literally. You know, if if roots could spread, you know they do, and but I think that's the strength. Is working with Devil's Music has given us the chance. They, they've always wanted their own venue, um, and they've always wanted to do what they're doing here. But they've never had the chance. They've never had the freedom. I give I give them a lot of freedom because I trust them a lot in terms of you know doing some un, unheard of stuff really, and, uh, and also just giving people a lot of. Um, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of room to do what they want to do that no one else is really doing. Uh, things like, I don't charge entry in the door, I've never charged entry. Um, I cover the cost of the bands um, personally because I believe that, you know, uh, I mean, we, we, could, we could turn it, we could generate a hell of a lot of money in the door, but it's not something I, I don't believe in. It. I don't believe in it. Um, it's just not fair, you know. I think that it should be as accessible to everybody as possible. Um, so I don't want to put a barrier in between <laughs> my customers and the entertainment that we've got in here. Um, and it's worked really well because of that. People, I get a lot of great feedback. Because really, is it free? I get people ringing up, you know, to book in, and you know, how much is it on the door? And I'm like, oh, it's always free, and they're like, really? Um, so you know, things like that. Um, that is also a barrier with. Trevor and Rich, they've got to fight to get acts that you know yeah. I can't spend out all the time for massively expensive acts because a I haven't got the I haven't got the size to get the people in and b I can't I don't take any money on the door from it so it's kind of it's a difficult kind of world but it's worked really well because they had a lot of their eyes stacked against them to kind of pull it out of the bag and they've done really well. So, yeah, well I mean it always gives a good platform to the bands you know to come down there and play. So, I mean, have you got any, any more plans for the future? You Absolutely, yeah. Out? Yeah, yeah. Um, Aces 2 is on the horizon. All right, come on. Uh, we had, uh, we've been looking at sites recently, um, and we actually, unfortunately, we had one fall through just because the, the council and, and us, we couldn't... Um, couldn't come to an agreement on the planning, uh, plan, planning consent, so unfortunately that fell through. But obviously that's, that's uh, a minor issue. We've got more things in the future to come to come onto. So um, yeah, we're looking at kind of Bristol area, Bath area at the moment, possibly Brighton, possibly Oxford. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, you know, for me, it's hopefully the first of many. I've put a lot of time and effort into Smoking Aces to make it brandable, to make it franchisable, to move it forward. It's, it's something that you can package up and roll out quite easily now that it's established. Um, so yeah, that's the idea basically. So the next, over the next five years, I think you know the future's bright. Hopefully. So that's the idea. And I want to be working with you know more artists in yeah, more towns. Yeah. We get we get a lot of artists that come down from all over the country anyway mm -hmm. um, so oh, yeah. to have other you know you could if you wanted to in really? five years time do a tour of Smoking Aces yeah you know, so. yeah that'd be amazing yeah, yeah. Aces, um, too, yeah Aces yeah. tour you know we've got loads of stuff yeah, lined up you know I want crazy things you know I want yeah. my own Smoking Aces whiskey you know yeah. like yeah. See, yeah there's a lot of things I want to do whether yeah. we get all of them done yeah. I don't know but it's, yeah. it's worth worth trying so yeah. Yeah. it's looking good so, if you want to come down for a drink, cocktails, whiskies, scotches, pretty much any night of the week, you know where to go. If you haven't seen the video, it'll be somewhere in this YouTube line. 
how to get here from the square. It's like three or four minutes. Ago. If you're a band and you want to be playing anymore, this is one of the best venues to play. It's definitely a good platform.